Hello aspirants, welcome to Ekam IS Academy. Good morning all of you. In this video, we are going to discuss about Chang'e 6 mission of China. What is so significant about this mission? What did it achieve so far? And what is the far side of the moon and other things we are going to discuss in a short and crisp way. Let's see the thing here. What is the main news article is? It is part of the lunar exploration mission which is named as Chang'e 6 as part of Chinese lunar exploration. They have sent an orbiter module as well as a lander module to the far side of the moon. So this has conducted experiments for almost 53 days and then it has sent some materials out of the lunar surface back to the earth. So this is going to be the very first mission in the entire world where we have captured some material from the lunar surface and that was again resent back to the earth. So in that way it is so significant. Then let us see the minute data of this mission which you need to know. So first thing we have to understand is this is a lunar mission of China right. So then another thing you have to keep in mind is this mission is trying to operate on the far side of the moon. So what is the far side of the moon? So all the time if you see if we consider this is an earth. So whatever the moon we see always if you see the moon is revolving around the earth right it is a natural satellite of the earth right. So but all the time we see this particular face only this particular face which is invisible for the earth okay this we consider it as the far side of the moon. So why this is invisible you can ask me. So two reasons are there because here there is no exposure to the sun rays and the second reason is moon is tidally locked with the earth. Tidally locked with the earth. So because of these two reasons always you are going to see only one particular side of the moon that we call it as the near side. This visible side is considered as near side and which is invisible we call it as the far side of the moon. So what happened in this Chang'e mission? Now we have collected the materials from the invisible part that is the far side of the moon and that was again sent back to the earth. So this is what you have to keep in mind. Then another thing you have to keep in mind is with this particular experiment, China became the very first country to conduct experiment on the far side of the moon. So you can ask me what is Chandrayaan 3 then? Chandrayaan 3 was the first mission in the entire world to land on the southern pole of the moon. Like you have the northern pole and southern pole on the earth, same way we have the southern pole of the moon where we have landed for the very first time. And in terms of soft landing, India is the fourth country after USA, Russia and China. So we are in terms of soft landing, that means to safely land on the moon, we are the fourth country with Chandrayaan 3 mission. But we are the very first country to land on the southern pole of the moon. But here Chinese Chang'e 6 mission is not landing on the southern pole. It is trying to do experiments on the far side of the moon which is not visible to the earth. This is the first thing you need to understand. Then another aspect you need to understand is this far side why we are going to test about the far side right. So now I'll explain why we are interested that means why China is interested in the far side only because first thing this helps us because this particular far side is having very thick crust is there. There is some emission of lava you can see and there are some planes on the surface as well as some craters are also there. So this is one reason why they wanted to explore far side of the moon. Second reason is this helps in understanding origin and evolution of the moon. So this is the next reason why Chinese mission wants to explore. Then another reason you need to understand is this far side. If you explore what is there in the far side then we can understand why this far side is different from the near side of the moon. So what is the difference? Why it is having differences from the near side as well as the far side? For understanding these reasons only China has sent a mission called Chang'e 6 mission. So with this it became the very first country to land on the far side of the moon and to send some mission, uh, some particular material back. So first thing you have to understand what are the components of this mission. Then if you see the components you have an orbiter Orbiter means which normally orbits around the moon. So it will be orbiting around the moon. Then there is a lander. So this lander will, what is the job here? It has to scoop, scoop, you know what is scoop, right? Ice cream scoop. So it will be scooping and drilling the surface of the moon and it will send the particular material back. So this lander when it is scooping and drilling, what type of materials were coming out? That will be captured by this orbiter service module that will communicate the same thing back so that it will ensure that the same thing is getting re-entered into the earth's surface. That is how this orbital mission or you can say Chang'e 6 mission is working. Then another aspect you need to remember is 
there is also a mention about Chang'e 4 mission also. What is this Chang'e 4 mission? This was launched by China in 2019 where it has sent a rover especially on a crater called Own Karman crater. So to work on this crater and to know this is also on the lunar surface only especially to deal with this particular crater it has sent a mission with name Chang'e 4 in 2019. So this is what the differentiation you need to know from Chang'e 6 and Chang'e 4 and how this is so significant and what are the things you are going to know from Chang'e 6 mission. Then the, the practice question for the day is Chang'e 6 mission is expected to land on which area of the moon. So try to answer this in the comment section that is why I didn't reveal what is the landing site name. So try to answer this question i'll let you know in the next video then you have four options given try to answer in the comment section then as we reach the end of the video today we have discussed about what is Chang'e 6 mission why it is so significant and how it is different from Chang'e 4 mission and what is the difference between Chang'e 6 and Chandrayaan 3 mission also so we also are planning to launch Chandrayaan 4 mission so if you know what is the main objective of Chandrayaan 4 mission try to put your answer in the comment section thank you for watching have a great day